Hello and welcome to Keep Sales. Now in this video, we will be assessing the new stock taking system. Now, why do we say it's a new stock taking system? Because when conducting stock taking, we used the feature called Speedy Management to help with our stock taking. Now I have videos on Speedy, the Speedy Management feature. And in those videos, I mentioned what the feature allows you to do. And then, um, and, and stock taking happens to be one of the things that speedy management allows you to do. Now, at this time, we have a new stock taking system that is specifically for the purpose of stock taking. So now, this feature allows you again to exercise stock taking function and access the uh, uh, that process before you update your stock. So, meaning after every stock taken, you have the chance to review reports associated with it and, and, and make any necessary correction before you allow it to reflect in your inventory, which was not I mean, present previously. I mean, at first, you couldn't reverse your stock updates when you made them, and it came with its own issues. So, now that is all the talk on the new feature. Uh, let's get to it and let's just see how uh, our new stock. Uh, 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 taking feature works okay so let's just get to it okay so to access uh, the new stock taking feature you click on main menu you click on stock okay and you scroll down you will notice the stock taking feature when you click on this it brings you here okay so if this is the first time you come here you realize you won't see this table okay with these many sessions created Okay, so now let's get to creating a new stock taking session. So already, um, um, we already know what stock the whole stock taking procedure is about. So what you want to do is you now want to update your system, try to reconcile what you have uh, in your physical inventory to what you have uh, uh, in the system. So you want to compare the two and then make all the necessary uh, changes. Uh, that is that is possible. Okay, so uh, to do that, okay, once you are here, you click inside the new stock taking session. So let's click on that. Okay, so right here we see that you can create a new stock take session, and it says that this action will capture your current total inventory values and product quantities. Okay, so I think we'll look at that when we have actually created it. Okay, so a new stock taking session has been created. Okay, so over here, we realize that our session, okay, which we are about to undertake right now has been created. And then the, 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 the status here is ongoing. Okay, so when you click inside the action, these are the, the, the options that you see. So there's one, proceed to stock taking, which is what we are going to do. There's a, there's a view report. The view report, uh, we'll look at that in another video. And then there's delete this session. Okay, so when you are done and then you realize that no, there was an issue, there were mistakes with it, you can just click to delete this session. Okay, so let's click inside the proceed to stock taking. Okay, so it takes us to another tab. Okay, where now we are going to actually proceed with a stock taking. Okay, so now um, this, uh, what you see here reflects what will be going on on the ground. Okay, so you realize that over here you select the product. Okay, so whoever is going to do the accounting, if you are the one doing the accounting, so whichever product you get to, you just select the product. So let's just say we get to this particular product. Okay, so over here, this is the information that is displayed. It tells you what the system quantity is. That is uh, the, the quantity that is in the system. Okay, so over here, it says 297. So now we go over to our shelf or wherever that product is, and then we count. So after we have counted, whatever figure that it is that we were able to arrive at is what we will put inside uh, the counted quantity. So if it, if it was 297, the exact 297, we, we put it there. Okay, so let's just select a couple more. Okay, let's just uh, go to the next item. So we have dress. Okay, in the system, it says we have 12. We go to our shelf or wherever that, that product is. We counted and let's just say it was 15 instead of 12. Okay, so we put that over there. And then we go to the next item. Okay, so in the process of doing stock taking, what you are doing is you are trying to 
uh, 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 set everything right. And then in that process also, you get to learn what created all these discrepancies. And those things, we'll look at them when we get to the report session. Okay, so I mean, we still continue with item number three. When we counted, it was th um, the system says we had three. Let's say when we counted, we had two. Okay, so let me quickly uh, select a couple. 700, let's say this, we have 700 as well. Uh, let me select about 10 items. This we had 15. Okay, so we keep on uh, updating our stock. Okay, so we check what the, what is in the system. We move to count. And then after we've counted, we put in the counted figure over there. Okay. Okay, so we select our last, our last item. Okay. So over here, 20, oh, let me just hit nine. Okay, so another thing I'd like us to also take note is the note section. Okay, so if you happen to encounter any issues with this particular product, you can state it under the note session. Okay, you can state it under the note session. Okay, so let's just say for this particular product, uh, we realized that it was uh let's say destroyed or whichever 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 information that you want to uh clarify uh, pertaining to this particular product or let's say this product where uh, was counted in different cells okay great so i mean we can we can we can be creating notes along the way okay so now there's what we call the record counted quantities now before we click on that so usually with stock taking stock taking um, um you do it for all the items in the shop okay but for illustration purposes uh, uh we have over 800 uh products for this particular shop so we cannot obviously do uh uh, uh for all the products so i mean that's why i'm doing it for just 10 okay so that is just by the way now when you come here there's what we call the stock take commentary and then the end stock taking session okay so the stock take commentary when you click on that if there are any other uh, commentary that you want to add so for instance usually as it always happens maybe during the stock taking process you encountered certain products i mean it can be any commentary at all regarding the whole procedure so let's just say you, are, you just want to say that there were new items on the shelf that were not a part of the inventory part of the inventory in our system then you can list you can list them example uh, uh let's say uh, products a b c uh, a b c d blah 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 okay or maybe during during the during the process during the process you realize that maybe there were there were there were certain uh, peculiar uh issues like uh there were frequent frequent uh, system failure i mean any any other commentary regarding the whole stock taking process that you want to take notes you can and then you just click on save okay and then uh, our commentary is successfully saved okay so once we are done okay you click on close okay so now once we have finished okay you just click on record uh counted quantities okay so you can do them uh, 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 uh at a time okay if you don't want to do all the products at once you can do them in batches so, so let's say for every 10 items you click on record counted quantities and then you continue and then you click on record uh, counted quantities okay so as you click on record counted quantities it just it just goes uh uh uh, uh, uh to say somewhere else but then it still allows you 
to continue with their other products without you know totally ending the whole session okay so when we are done okay then we click inside and stock take uh, take session and then here it says that they ask this action will disallow you from further recording any new product counts and then this cannot be undone now what this means is that when you've ended this session okay like i was saying when we've not ended this session you can keep on uh, uh updating your stock uh, uh over here you can continue with the stock take uh, stock taking uh process over here okay but then the moment you click on end stock session and then you click on okay okay it means that you cannot go back uh, 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 uh to record any new product count so it means this particular session has ended okay so let's click on okay and then it tells us that stock taking session has been ended successfully so you can now view uh, proceed to viewing the final report okay so um when you click on this okay it takes you to the report okay in the meantime we wouldn't be looking at the report now and we'll look at it in our next video so this has been uh, a video on, on the stock taking feature our new stock taking feature it's, it's an amazing feature i really love this feature i know you'd love it too okay so over here uh one thing one quick thing that i'd like to show you is the status okay so before before when we started it was it was that ongoing so um until you have clicked to end a stock taking session the status will read as ongoing now after you have clicked that you've ended the stock taking session which we did not too long ago okay when you come back to this table you will actually see ended okay now there's what we call committed okay now committed is the final final step okay now what happens around committed is what we are going to look at when we get to viewing the report so uh i won't i won't jump i won't jump i won't jump ahead of myself i'll just say that stay glued uh to the next video don't miss don't miss out on our next video uh, 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 uh thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll be waiting for you in the next video so see you later in, the, in our next video have a nice day and bye bye